Thanks for inviting us in on this Friday night. We want to begin with this big blow to the president's administration. A resounding no today from an outside panel of advisors to the FDA. They rejected a plan from Pfizer to offer these COVID vaccine boosters to everyone 16 and older, but the panel didn't say no to everyone. So for tonight's big story, we want to take a look at who may be able to get these boosters in the future, why boosters were rejected for most Americans, and how this process will play out from here. If you were the Biden administration yeah. was planning to start giving booster shots to most Americans as early as Monday. So what happened? To start, the FDA advisory panel had to decide on two things. Is the extra dose safe and is it needed? Pfizer presented evidence saying immunity against mild infections dipped six months after its second dose using data from Israel and found adding a booster shot restored that immunity. Pretty quick, it looks like all of the votes are in. Ultimately, the panel voted overwhelmingly against the evidence, saying the company did not provide enough information about the safety of the third dose and didn't think it was necessary for most Americans. Instead, the panel recommended it for those at high risk, including people 65 and older. Friday's vote comes after a contentious debate in the medical community surrounding boosters and whether they're necessary. I think we need to target the boosters right now, specifically to the people who are likely to be at high risk. So let's take another look at how the third shot works. Once someone is fully vaccinated, the vaccine triggers the immune system to attack the virus. Over time, experts say that immunity can wane. By adding a third dose, the body gets another boost and can defend itself again. The recommendations now move to the full FDA, which usually follows the panel's decision. They'll take up the booster debate at a two-day meeting next week. Now, these meetings are just the start of the process. The CDC gets the final say as to whether people 65 and older or high-risk Americans can get that COVID booster. We also heard from the White House tonight following this vote, a spokesperson issuing this statement saying today was an important step forward in providing better protection to Americans from COVID-19. Now, most vaccinated people got the Pfizer shot. 45% got Moderna or Johnson & Johnson. Both are weeks, if not months away, from going before the FDA with their booster data. The FDA said today all three of those vaccines still provide strong protection against COVID-19, even if their antibodies decrease over time. Now, the CDC now says Moderna's vaccine is more effective than Pfizer or Johnson & Johnson in, providing hospi in preventing hospitalizations. The CDC took a look at data collected from 21 hospitals across 18 states. Here's what they found. Overall, the Moderna vaccine was 93% effective at preventing hospitalization. Pfizer, 88% effective. J&J, 71% effective. And that wraps up tonight's big story.